be having a cold. Mr. Peepers, that cheapskate, would turn the heaters on. Maybe I wouldn't be sick. I'm stuck here watching TV. <sighs> At least Eric will be home in an hour or two. Eric, you're you're home early. I thought you were off at seven. I got fired for giving a boy a girl's Happy Meal toy. Mark, that ruthless, heartless person. Man, yeah. ever since you quit your job as an undercover cop, you just haven't been able to get a good job. Well, at least we got another week. You know, I can get you know something going by then. But, you know, I got, I'm going to go pay Mr. Peepers his money. You know, I'm glad we got that all said. Sorry we have to use our vacation money for Windsor Casino when they get off the strike. Oh, um, about the vacation money, I spent it. Sorry. I don't know what to say. We can't pay the rent now. He's going to kick us out. I sure I spent it all? Was Check. You didn't leave anything. What did you buy? Uh, well, you know, being sick and all, I bought some medicine. I, that's okay. I can. Well, ex I didn't exactly buy medicine. But I did find this really neat, neat um, Star Trek video. I was at the store, and you, you know me at Star Trek. It, uh, oh, Eric. Sorry. That's no, okay. I'll just hop over to Roger McShane's and he'll let you. God bless you. Thank you. He'll let us the $10 we need and we'll pay off my keepers with my check that I got. For, you yeah. sure? Yeah. I feel awful about this. It's Yeah, he's just right across the street. See? It's right there. That's his window. So I'm gonna head on over there. You know? You know? Okay. I'm gonna get the money before peepers can you get his butt. You boy, you let me in there. I know you're in there, and I've come for my rent. You gonna make me go get my cash key? I got one, you know. Somewhere. Hush! Oh, I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I played your bluff, and I know you're in there. I better get it. I heard somebody oh. fart or sneeze or something. We'll have to let him in. Better, you we'll, better. we'll play on sympathies. How about that? That feels. My name is Peepers. Well, it's about time you let me in here. I've come for my rent. I don't see it sitting out. Where is it? We're a couple dollars short, Mr. Peepers. A couple dollars short? Yeah, just let me run across the street to my friend Rogers and get your money right now. No, I'm not waiting. I want the rent right now. No friends, none of this double. If you don't give me my rent, you guys are getting thrown out of this nice apartment on your butt. This nice apartment? Nice apartment? Where, where did you get off saying that? The roof leaks. The, there's no heater. And the cockroaches are so big they ran around and ran around with their generic cornflakes. Cockroaches? Well, if you got cockroaches, you should train them to clean this place up. If you got cold water, you put some water on the stove and boil it, and then we'll give you hot water and heat to boot. Together. You didn't give us a stove. She stove? Peepers, you cheapskate. Let me go over there. Forget it! I ain't cutting you guys no breaks. Why not? Because I'm not cutting you no breaks. I'll tell you what I'll cut you. I'll tell you what I'll give you. I ain't giving you a break. You make, put your aprons on. You make me laugh, Mr. Peepers. You? I'll give you a bucket in my Work. You're my new maintenance boy, you bachelor boys. Uh -oh. Be in my apartment in five minutes. I'll gear you up. This isn't a load of baloney. No baloney. Uh oh. Oh, baloney. Working for Mr. Peepers. That's gonna be rough. I don't know. Well, I guess work is work, wouldn't you say? If it wasn't for our wives taking everything, we'd be set. Why did they have to divorce us? We never did anything. Oh, sure, we stayed out late on Friday nights and maybe came home drunk one too many times. Look at Christine. Divorce me. <coughs> Man, this cold. It'll get better, I swear. Oof. 
But we have no money and we got a bad apartment. You know what they say, if we have no job, we have no alimony, that's the brakes. You know it. Look out for free!